Today I'm going to be adding AR line and object tracking to my previously built obstacle avoiding robot using a Husky lens. Husky lens is a standalone sensor with a couple of pre-configured recognition algorithms that allow you to easily add AR powered machine vision to your Raspberry Pi and Arduino projects. It's got built-in object tracking, face recognition, object recognition, line tracking, color detection and tag recognition and the best part is that it doesn't require any internet connection to run. All of the processing is done locally on the Husky lens. This Husky lens was sent to me by DF Robot to try out and share with you. I'll put a link in the video description if you'd like to get your own. The device has two primary inputs, a multifunction menu selector and then a learn button, which allows you to select and learn new objects, faces and tags directly on the device. So you don't need a PC with you to change modes or to select different tracking objects. The Husky lens uses a Kenbright K210AR chip to run a neural network. This results in pretty impressively fast learning and recognition, even of fast moving objects. I'm going to be installing the Husky lens in place of the servo and ultrasonic sensor on a robot car which I built in a previous video. The car uses an Arduino Uno and a dual L293D motor driver shield to drive four wheels through some geared motors. I'll be mounting the Husky lens onto the bracket which was supplied with it, and I've 3D printed a small adapter block to fit into the servo holder to screw the bracket into. The Husky lens can communicate using I2C or SPI communication. I'm going to be using I2C because these pins are still available on the motor driver shield. Just like any other I2C device, there are four connections to be made, two to power and two for communication. Now that it's installed, let's power it up and have a look at the line and object tracking functions. We'll start by switching it to line tracking mode. I've drawn a line on this piece of paper, so let's see how well it's able to pick it up. We first need to point the crosshair in the center at the line, and then push the learn button to tell the Husky lens that this is the type of line it needs to follow. You'll see it recognize the line and then overlay a blue arrow. The Husky lens is actually quite fast at picking up direction changes, even when the line is removed and then brought back into the field of view. I'm now going to try and add some code to my Arduino to use the data from the Husky lens to follow a black line drawn on the floor. If you're interested in the code or how the communication between the Husky lens and Arduino works, I'll put a link to a more detailed write-up in the video description. I'll start by pointing the vision sensor downward so that it's looking at the ground just ahead of the car. I've drawn lines on the floor trying to keep near the grout lines in the tiles so that it hopefully doesn't get confused. I've also put some masking tape on the lines leading away from the turns so that it follows the turns and ignores the grout lines. Let's turn the car on and see how it does it following the line. I tried to follow behind the display so that you can see what's happening on the Husky lens as well. So you can see the line tracking feature works pretty well. If I lift the car up off the ground, you can see how the direction of the line drives the wheel speed on each side. Now let's try the object tracking. We use the selector to change over to object recognition mode. I'm going to try and use this Raspberry Pi logo cutout on a clear piece of acrylic as the object to track. We need to put the object in the box in the middle of the display and then push the learn button to learn the object. Once the object has been learned, you can see that the box on the screen moves around as the object is moved around. It also gets bigger or smaller if you move it closer or further away from the camera. We're going to use this box to control the car as well. When the box moves to the left or the right of the display, we'll move the car to the left or the right. And when it gets further away, the box gets smaller and we'll then move the car forward to follow the object. I've adapted the code again, this time to follow the box around the screen, so let's try it out.
I probably need to spend a bit more time adjusting the gains on the turning and distance tracking algorithms, but you get a good idea of how the object tracking works. The car responds to movements of the object to either side and tries to follow the object when it moves away from it. Let me know what you think of the Husky lens in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.